bravely default to it has finally been revealed this is the moment we've been waiting for oh my god if you haven't watched it yet go watch the trailer now then come back here because i'm going to go straight into theorizing and stuff looking at this show this is going to be a very quick analysis because i need to get this out oh my god i'm so 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 excited oh i'm so happy okay let's just get right to it i'm not gonna waste time so the trailer starts off with this platform inside a room with some interesting architecture, stone walls, kind of similar to the Council of Six's room in Attorney and Central Command. Um, but outside we see stars and a rocky terrain. Now if you ask me, my guess that this is the inside of some kind of crystal temple, or perhaps even on the moon, considering that it's near the stars or on, like, and the rocky terrain of the moon. Uh, maybe it's close to the Celestial Realm as well, based on Bravely Second's title screen art. Um, that's entirely a possibility. Now, the voice during this part speaks as so. It is time to choose. Accept your fate and await oblivion, or make a stand and fight for survival. Step into the light, young hero. Be brave. Which was a wonderful little phrase to finally confirm while I was watching it, uh, that it was Bravely and not some Octopath sequel. <laughs> <laughs> um, so as the voice talks, we're taken to an image of this girl who seems to have a larger crystal floating before her. Now, when I first saw this, again, I assumed that this was an Octopath sequel, but of course, once it was confirmed that it was Bravely, I knew that she wasn't Ophelia. Uh, so then we followed up with these three locations and the reveal of our main party. And as far as we're aware, thank you, Bravely Second, for making me have to doubt that. And lastly, uh... Bravely default to... Wait, what? Alright, guessing time. First, it seems I was correct that our main character is going to be a female. Awesome. Uh, now, in regards to this crystal, my belief is that it is a crystalline core, similar to the one that Anyez wears around her neck. Uh, the Sage and Aerie both make mention in Bravely Default about how the core can grow into a full-size crystal. Uh, Aerie bitches about that when you beat her and how it's going to take like another 1100 years or something for it to grow that long. So my guess is that this person's goal is to make a stand and survive by creating a crystal to rebalance nature or something along those lines. All right, all right, I'll get to the pressing issue now. Where is Ring a Bell? Where is everyone we know and love? Well, the answer to this is really easy. Dimensions. Don't forget, Bravely Second ended off with a teaser involving the Dimensional Bureau. So I think it's very likely that this is one of the myriad versions of Luxendark, which would explain a lot, or it could just be another dimension of Luxendark entirely, and that Ring a Bell and others will make an appearance working for the Planeswalkers at some point during the game. Uh, hence, Bravely Default 2. Don't worry, I don't think Bravely Second has been thrown at a cannon or anything silly like that. But there is something else about that title. See, as we all know, Asano and team like to mess with the subtitles of each game. I don't think it's a coincidence that they used Roman numerals instead of the number two. My guess is halfway through the game or so, there's going to be a third I added on to it to make it Bravely Default 3 or Bravely 3rd, or maybe they will form a sword shape. Who knows? I think that's my guess, is that they'll add another Roman numeral. As for the crew themselves, um, I think the designs are okay. Uh, some people are going on about the models, and I guess it's because with the 3DS you can get away with the lower res chibi models that they had, uh, so it looks a bit jank here, but I'm fine with it. I, I don't mind it. Um, as for their appearance, though, uh, they do bear some resemblances to other characters from the series. For example, this guy looks like the offspring of Tiz and Anya's, and this guy looks like some young version of Denny. Uh, personally, I don't believe any of them are related to the characters in the last two games, but that's just me. Maybe they could be alternate versions of people in the alternate Luxembourg. So this could be Denny just in a different timeline, which would be pretty neat. Um, none of these towns that they show off also look particularly familiar, um, but I saw someone compare this tree town to Arbor from the Four Heroes of Light game. I never played that, but there might be a connection there. I'm not sure. The last bit to look at about the game is uh, this page on the main Nintendo site. From this, we can see that the game is supposedly about 
traveling the world in search of the four crystals with the latest incarnation of the heroes of light so once again my belief is that the party is going to create or search for these crystals to save themselves in the world from oblivion so instead of searching for them and praying to them where you know where they are this time you actually have to bring the crystals to life or find them and resurrect them i it's going to be kind of similar but um i i can see where the differences are um that's that's all just my theory what do you guys think let me know in the comments on my twitter or in my discord i'll give links in the description for that in all honesty though i think at this point there's not a whole lot we've actually been given to speculate on with any degree of accuracy but i think we can all agree on one thing it is absolutely amazing that we have this trailer in the first place and you can bet your ass that i will be following this game all the way so stay tuned for more thanks for watching guys and I'll hopefully see you soon with more.